okay. I just want to do a quick, like, explained thing, like, introduction for this video. Okay? So, the idea is simple, you know? Super simple, super easy. Anybody can do it at home, right? And cheap. I, today, did all this. With stuff I had. Um, but I got this Quest 2 today at 1, and now it's like 8. So, it's super easy, it doesn't take long. Super cheap. I'll say it, okay. For 140 for everything. And a VR mat, too. I'm spoiled. I'm rich, basically, now, because of that. So, that's cool. Um, this is a PC VR only thing. Um, I don't care about standalone quality, really. So, I can get away with... Um, using a Quest 2. I don't need hand tracking updates, whatever. I don't need these new updates. Theoretically, also, you can do the same with the Quest 3S. I don't recommend it. There's no need. Need a waste of money. Just go for a Quest 2. 150 ish dollars on Facebook Marketplace is about the right price, I would say. And you can get them there pretty frequently, I would say. Not that frequently but frequently enough that this is pretty feasible for almost anyone you know this kind of build oh my i track vr thing came up but yeah i mean to quote gusto in ratatouille i don't know anyone can cook okay so parts list gonna need a couple things you got these esp 32 cameras from Amazon. Uh, you're gonna need two of them for this build. Um, part two, you're gonna need a third one, um, but that's more complicated and that'll be next time. So you're gonna need two of these. Um, link down below, Amazon, $25. Super simple, yeah. Next up, you're gonna need some of these cameras and I'll take one out of the bag to show. And there's either two things you're going to have to do. Get them on AliExpress or get them on Amazon. If you get them on Amazon, you can't get them without the IR uh, filter. So there's an IR filter under the camera. Uh, I got these on Amazon. They arrive in like three days. So I'd say for the first build, get two on Amazon for like $10. If you want a quicker, you know, quicker placements or whatever, you can get them on Amazon. I'll have AliExpress and Amazon links uh, below as well. USB hub of some sort. This is... Just one I had lying around, because I'm a cheap ass, so we're going to use this too. Also a splitter I had lying around. You're going to want one of these, um, because battery life will be drained quicker. So you're definitely going to want that. Now, for this build, three small USB A to C for me, but you could have a C to C. It's depending on the USB hub, but three short cables. And then you're going to want the iTrack VR kit. <clears throat> now, I already have most of the wiring done. There's a separate guide for it. Okay. I'm going to be using three. You can get away with hot gluing the cameras to, like, the side of the lenses if you're going that cheap, like I said. This is all under 250 for all of it together. But if you're even more budget, like I have a 3D printer already, you know, general stuff that I already had, not not including in the budget really, but if you can, you can, but it barely fits. So but yeah, most people don't have a 3D printer and I kind of didn't super think of that. So Oh, yeah. oh, and then a little dabble enclosure for one of the cameras because we're going to be using only one eye camera because we're going to have facial tracking on this too using this. That's how we'll get the light. <clears throat> cool. These, that little plastic will be my marker. Um, and I have my tweezers. So I'll show it one time. I'm going to have to do it twice in the video. I'll show it once. I have it on my index tutorial as well, but this is how you're going to want to do it. Okay. Mm, 
Remember the angle right there looks to be a little bit off. And then remember the amount of rotations it takes. Lefty Lucy. That's one. Two. Three. Now, keep the sensor down when you do this, both times. Keep it facing down. Now you'll see that little shiny blue plate. That is the IR filter. We're gonna have to remove that. Super easy, super simple. You can see there's little divots and grooves that you can get a little thing under. So that's what we're gonna do. Very simple. Lift it up and over, just like that. Blow any dust away. And then remembering the amount of rotations it needs, three, two, three, just like that. Bam, one IR filter removed. I'm gonna have to do the second one too. Okay, so you're gonna get your two modules. You're gonna get your camera module, okay? And the actual ESP module. Camera goes on like this, it sits like that, okay? Also going to want to do is take this. Now this is super simple. All you have to do to use wireless, fuck. all you have to do to use these wirelessly is this. Okay, there we go. It's on. See? And now this is a wireless unit instead of a wired one, just like that. Bang. And that'll just work for you. For the Babel tracker. Here's what we're gonna do. Again, take your antenna, place it here. Push it in. God damn it. We... Boom, viola. Then you drop this on top. This one looks kind of weird, but you know what I'm saying? And then, Bend it a little, makes it easier. Push it in, you'll see. Oh, sorry, it lines up with that white line. There's actually a white line on the thing, it lines up. And then you wanna push this down. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something here. For my wireless antenna, I'm gonna have to make space, so. This is your babbling, you know, enclosure. I'll show you how it's set up. I'll pull this side off. Just like that. Yeah, very easy. Okay. So that's your Project Babel. We're gonna heat up Mr. Hot Glue Gun. Well, we work on this. Okay, as you can see, this should, a little bit of luck, yep, pop right on. Bang, just like that, okay? So that's what you're gonna want to make sure of first, that your shit snaps on properly, okay? Step one. Step C is the wire harnesses. So this is how I have them, I only have three, but I have one long and then one short, and that comes off this main board here. Nothing too crazy about it, all right. And this is kind of a screwed up kit because there's like a little bit of glue piece, but you can see, and just like that, your IR emitters are in place. Yeah, so here's how I'm gonna orient it. I just press it in place. Okay. Easy enough. It should pop in 
yeah, just like that. And now, <laughs> pop it right in place, just like that. And you only need it on the one eye for right now, so that's all I'm gonna do here. But, I mean, kind of honestly, that's that's it. That's basically all eye tracking. That's like the hard part. Here comes the easy part. Hot gluing everything, and it'll look weird. So before I do anything, I'm gonna put on the facial tracker uh, mount that I printed. And I left the stuff on it, because um, I don't care. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be hot gluing the wire harness to the top. Sorry, I just got rid of the hot glue on it. Okay, so I'm probably gonna sit it like this because the wire is gonna come out to here, and these can go left and right. So that's pretty perfect. So that's where, that's how I'll do that. So just very small amount of hot glue. And just hot glue it in place. Now comes these. So two routes that you can use here to connect these. Um, you could either make a little mounts, put the mounts on it, so you don't have to hot glue it, or you could just hot glue it, which is honestly what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'll try the other side, screw it, you know what I'm saying? But not bad so far. But yeah, so I should probably zoom in on what I'm up to, but I'm gonna just mount the LEDs. Kind of in a different spot, but it's lights. These aren't cameras, so it does not matter. Babel doesn't really care about even lighting in this at all, honestly. So you're probably fine. Plug in my hot glue gun battery real quick. While I keep working. I want to plug this in as well. Just go in. I'm begging. Hands are too freaking big. All right, there you go. Now, you know, just give it the free space it desires and it's pretty free floating. Yeah. So no need to cut into it or anything. So this is super not invasive, which is good. I didn't really know that. <clears throat> so far, so good, um, I guess. We're gonna wanna do something with that ribbon cable. So why don't we do that? Highly recommend what I'm going to show you. Okay. Now I'm going to connect the USB hub. I'm gonna connect it on this side over here. I don't plan on wearing headphones, so I'm gonna block that, but this is unpluggable. Nothing to fear. I am specifically going to have it sitting here, but you can have it sitting anywhere, of course. You know, I could also put it here and have it be removable. Um, so we're actually, that's what I'm gonna do instead. And then it, I will be gluing down the wire about here. Yeah, somewhere there. The wire, which is also very simple. Again, you just open it up and then on the black side, you're gonna wanna crease it a little bit. Not very hard, super simply. And then just slot it in, line up the white lines, bang. Plug it in. I'm going to glue the wire in place about there when my hot glue gun's ready. Uh, I'll cut to that. I don't know why I'm screwing up my own thing. Oh. Yeah, so for this, I'm gonna have to glue here. I don't know. I mean, you know, that was as informative as I could try to be for when making this. I don't know how it came out. Really? We'll see. Probably not bad. The eye tracking is probably going to look good. Math tracking too. 